Hey guys, Killing Dead 6 here, and today we're going to be doing another Zombies Top 5, and today we're going to be doing the Top 5 Worst Things About Zombies in Spaceland. If you guys like this video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, comment, and put down below what you want to see in the next Top 5. And with that being said, let's start with the countdown. For number 5, we have this. Bitch! I am sorry, but she is so annoying! I've had absolutely enough of listening to her crap for nearly... The, ever since I bought this game, and ever since I got the... And ever since I actually started playing the zombie mode, every time I play this character, I basically have to cringe every time she talks. And every time I have to listen to her talk, I am getting more and more closer to the part when I'm going to go insane. So I just hope to absolute god I don't have to listen to her voice ever, ever, again, in the next map. Oh, and uh, did I forget to mention that she uses a spoon as a melee attack? Yeah, she uses a spoon. It's just as effective as actually eating black charcoal. You're gonna get yourself killed. So for number 4 we have Neil's challenges and my god the challenges. If you are not very um, observant of what you have to do with challenges, you're going to fail over and over again. Unless you're doing the don't go into last stand challenge which should be obviously easy. But in all ser but seriously though, if you got up to a high round, there is a challenge in solo that you actually have to kill enemies with a melee attack, and the problem with that is the only way you're going to do that in high round is if you use um, insta kill and if you have jug, and if you don't have either of those things, well actually if you don't have both of them, you're, pr you're practically going to die, and it's pretty stupid, and as you can see here, I'm pretty much stuck on the melee only challenge, and the only way I'm going to do that is stuff the zombies with bullets and hope for the best that I don't die from them. It's stupid, I know, but... It's why it's best if you do it early and do it as quickly as possible so you don't have to worry about this ever again. For number three, we have the teleporters, and the teleporters are the one are these specific devices that allow you to go back to the main spawn room. Or more like the second area, but it's still technically a spawn room. And in, the only thing annoying about this, it takes time to charge, and if you're trying to get there in a hurry and you're trying to get through the teleporter. You have to wait for a few seconds, and if you're in a massive problem when you got a whole bunch of zombies, or even worse, the brutes, you're going to have a very hard time because they're going to kill you instantly, and the only annoying, and the only reason you'd be using the teleporters is because you want to get to the pack punch room. Other than that, there's no really other good use for the teleporters, and that's your number three spot. Number two are the dog, uh, the, not dog rounds, they're technically more like clown rounds. They're essentially like dog rounds, except they're with clowns, and these clowns are absolute pain to deal with. And how can I put this as simply as I can? The first, if you're playing by yourself, which is pretty obvious at this point, you can't play co-op online unless you got four people for some reason. You only can kill these clowns if you got a good weapon in the higher rounds, because when you're playing solo and you're up to round 22 or something, these clowns will have a high spawn rate, and these suckers will come out from every direction. They can even come up from behind you if you're not careful, especially when you got all the doors open in one area. And these clowns will explode if they get really close up to you, so they're essentially like suicide bombers or Nova 6 zombies from Black Ops 1. So you essentially got to be very, very careful what you do with these clowns. They can be easy to deal with in the first clown round because you can melee them for extra points, but any time after that, you better ho best hope you've got a good weapon by your side. For your number one spot, we have the Brutes, and my god, the Brutes are an absolute cancer. If these Brutes are massive zombies, and they can only take damage if you shoot them in the head, and they're basically like two health type of zombies because you have to shoot their mask and you have to keep shooting it until it takes its mask off and then you have to shoot its head and the only problem with that is is that you need a good weapon to shoot it because it takes so many bullets just to take down one brute and when I was playing solo if you play up into a higher round over 20 
they're just going to keep on multiplying because I previously really had to put up with two brutes instead of one. So it's, it gets harder as soon as the rounds go up. So the higher the round, more brutes will spawn. And the more brutes there is, there's a whole lot of shit that you have to deal with. Oh, did I forget to mention that they uh, shoot laser beams? Yeah, that's right. They shoot laser beams. Like that wasn't annoying enough. Laser beams. Really, really annoying. Also, if you don't have Jug, they're going to kill you in a very short, quick period of time. If you have Jug, it takes three hits, but if you got no Jug, well, yeah, you're going to have to restart your game eventually because you're going to die. 